Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I am going to get my tracker <laughs> together. I have done this in the past. It's not a surprise. I have um, not tracked correctly on my trackers. So if you saw last video, this number is off and it is because, if guys this happens to you, don't get discouraged. It's what happens when <clears throat> we forget to do a couple of things. Okay. So I want my cash envelope tracker to be reflecting my cash envelopes, right? So what happened was last week when I took money out, I did not track that I gave my husband money, that I put, um, where are you, where are you? that I put $100 into the family sinking funds. We did these savings challenges. So that is what I'm going to have to put over here for this number to become more accurate to what I have in my cash envelopes. So, excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna put this um, backtrack to the seventh because that's when I took out money. So I gave my husband money. And that's just for his spending money. $20. So 803 minus 20. And I don't track his, mon uh, um, his money, so I have to put in here all the money that I give him. Because I'm not tracking, you know, if he gets a pop, if he gets candy, um, if he gets a drink. Okay, next, I put $100 into family and this is just savings <clears throat> and this is just our sinking fund savings okay so we withdrew a hundred dollars that brings us to 683 next we had a couple of challenges that we did Let's see, and this pencil, this pen this morning is like really, it's all over the place. So, okay, let me use this one better. Okay, there we go. The other one felt like the ink was um, just, I don't know, just really runny. For <laughs> I'm not sure if that makes any sense. Okay, so we did 100 envelope challenge. This is just challenge. This is savings. <clears throat> So these are just two different savings, but I'm still gonna highlight them the same. And we took out 20, 663. Then we had this challenge again. And excuse my handwriting, you guys, I do not have the best handwriting. And excuse my dogs, if you hear them in the background, they're like playing and fighting over who gets to sit, who gets to wait in this huge, dog bed okay next is our 52 week challenge so we had to update that as well 52 week this is savings two two seven okay four three three now am i missing anything else dollars <sighs> okay you guys and this is where we have to see if this is correct so this shows that I should have 4433 three now in my cash envelopes let's see if that is right oh my gosh I'm so nervous <clears throat> let's see let's see let's see Okay. All right. So in my groceries, it shows I have 108. Let's make sure that it's correct. 51, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so we do have 108 in here. That is correct. And guys, I have to do all of this before I go get some more money out. And then then you then I really can't backtrack because uh it's gonna be all over the place. So 108 plus 
And then we have this 20 left because we had um, $50 for birthdays and I only spent $30. But I don't have a cash envelope for that so I put it just in my office. So plus 20, so we have that 20. And then I gave myself $100 but I spent, as you see, 45, 42, that is $87. So I should have left, oh my goodness, let me write this on this little sticky note over here. 128 is where we're at. Okay, so 100 minus 87, so I should have $13 in here. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, I do have 13. I'm just going to put both of these in here, the birthday and my what's left over for my spending for myself. Okay, so we were at 128 plus 13. We're at 144. Okay, so I'm still missing something. Did I put family? I put my husband's. Okay, so we, now we're at gas. We have $86. Okay, let's make sure that's right. 50, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6, 86 in here. That's still not adding up, you guys, and now it's going to drive me insane. So what did we do? What happened? What happened? Hmm. And I should have done this as soon as I came back from the bank, but then I went, uh, I went grocery shopping, got my hair done, all these things. So plus eighty six. So we're at two two seven. So what is going on? Did we do a? Oh oh oh! You guys. Two two seven. I forgot we did an another. Goodness gracious, all these markers. I forgot to put the other 52 week challenge. Oh my goodness. We did two last time. Savings. We put 166 into that one. So 433 minus 166. 267. What? Okay, let me do that again. 660 minus 227 minus 166. 267. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we already counted this. So we had 86. 86 plus the 20 plus the $13. Plus 108. 227. So I am short $40. That might be because I forgot to track gas. I'm just seeing one gas transaction here. That might be it, you guys. Let's see. Oh my goodness, there it is. I forgot to track this gas on the 10th. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you guys. That's crazy. Yep, there's only one gas transaction, wow. Yep, and that's $40, you see it there, people. $40, oh my goodness. This is why you gotta be tracking all over the place. Okay. So, so 267 minus $40. 227, you guys. There we go. Ding, 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 ding. Woohoo! Okay, oh my goodness. I'm not gonna do that again. I'm not gonna do that again. I'm not gonna do that again. Okay. So we are up to date. Now our expense tracker is correct. Now I just wanted to go ahead. Oh my goodness, you guys, what a headache. So I'm gonna move this over here, you guys. I just created this for myself because this just did not make sense to me. So I have my gas category, 
groceries for week one and unbudgeted. I guess I could put pet and myself, although I did not have nothing. And then gas, groceries, pet, myself, and unbudgeted. Okay, so let me just quickly say, this does not make sense to me, you guys, because we have a balance, right? And then we got the budget, but it it just it's just confusing and this is why I'm going to show you what I'm going to show you. So there is a balance of $81 in my gas. But I had a budget of $80 just because I have $91 in that cash envelope doesn't mean that's what I'm trying to budget. That's my budget for the gas. I wanted to budget $80 for that. But I spent 45 so that made my new balance 46. So I needed an extra balance column in here because that just didn't make sense to me. So let's go ahead and see. Um, where are we, where are we, where are we? Okay. So then here we had $75 balance. We had a budget of $75. We spent 85, so that le left us with negative six, which that came out of unbudgeted. So in unbudgeted, I had this extra, go ahead and do that, 81 minus 80. I had $11 because I had those $11 extra in the gas envelope. I did not have any plans to use it, but I spent $7 out of it. So then that left me with $4 in there. Okay, now ga gas for this, which is week two, I had a balance of 46, but I added 80. Yep. And see, that's that's why I'm saying this this does not make sense. I had a balance of 46, but I added 80 because I had a budget of 80, so I added 80 to this balance. So that put me at 126. So I had 126 in that cash envelope. Doesn't mean I had that in mind to but to have that for my weekly budget. I had a weekly budget of $80. I spent $40. And that left me with $86. That makes so much more sense to me. Okay, now in my grocery budget. <clears throat> where am I? What are, where am I? Where am I? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh, see you guys? Now I don't know the full amount. Oh, oh my goodness. This, this is wrong. And see, this is why, oh my gosh, this worksheet, it just drives me insane. I actually had a balance in my cash envelopes, remember you guys, in the beginning of the month of $300. But just because I have that in my envelope doesn't mean that's my full budget for the week. My budget for the week is $75. I spent $85. But I only spent $75 out of this cash envelope. That's not right because that came out of my unbudgeted account. So this is $300 minus $75. Yes, yes, 300 minus 75. And if you wonder why I did not use my grocery budget, long story short, I spent $75 at Sam's and then I had a gift card to a, get to a grocery store. I went to the grocery store. That gift card had way less money than I thought it did. So then I had to pull $7. I did not want to pull it out of my grocery. So I pulled it out of this extra unbudgeted amount. Okay. There we go. So our balance in our groceries was 227. And that's not where we are budgeting for like for the entire week. Our budget is $75. But we overspent again because again, Sam's Club doesn't take gift cards if they do not have the full amount that you're going to pay. So you can't do like a split pay. 
And I did not know that, so then I went over budget because of that. I spent 117 and that left me 1138. Okay. Now for cat, I spent I won't have to do this again. I had a hundred dollars. And I had budgeted a hundred dollars and I spent eighty-seven dollars. That leaves me with thirteen dollars. Okay. And for week two, we did have items that were not budgeted, which I'm just going to have to do that off camera because that means I need to go back into my, or maybe I should just do it right now. Might as well, you guys, <clears throat> now that we're catching up. What a mess. Okay, so we did have some unbudgeted items. Okay, so we had, We had a balance of four, but actually we had some extra money in our checking account. So I don't really know what the balance was in our checking account that we had extra. But we spent $103 for pet. Where am I? Oh, wow. $100 for pet. That was not budgeted. $17. That was not budgeted for me. $20. $22. Am I adding all these up? Oh my goodness. 22 plus 20. Right here. Plus 17. Plus 103. Plus 9. Plus 22. Okay, so we spent one ninety three. Okay, at least we know so far where we are on unbudgeted, and this most of this comes out of pet. Um, I should have a pet sinking fund, guys. Um, so most of this is pet. Others is I had a checking cushion, and then I swiped my card. It was not like budgeted. I had the money for it. I didn't use a credit card, but still. So I ate out, I had an Etsy moment, <laughs> and then my husband, he was being too strict on himself trying to think that he could only do $20 a week, and then we ended up swiping a card for $22 because, yeah, I know he spends around $70 a week. Why are you trying to, <laughs> yeah, like he, yeah, don't we all do that? We all think we can do like less, and then sometimes we like deprive ourselves too much, and then we end up have it, it just becomes like worse than what it could have been if we would have just been realistic and give ourselves the amount that we know we spent okay you guys so now for sure we are all caught up Woohoo! it's saturday i gotta go take out money first things first i'm gonna write it here on my tracker that way i don't have to do this hot mess catching up again and i hope to purchase some erasable pens today or some whiteouts. Let's do it, you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Oh, and you guys, I am still thinking about doing the Bible study um, videos on my channel, you guys. But I'm just trying to figure out a different way to go about it. Because I got to remind myself, Kat, you don't do YouTube as a full-time job. Believe it or not, I do have a full-time, pretty high-demanding job. <laughs> so it's like, Kat, you're putting too much on your plate. Like, you need to slow it down. I love making videos, so and talking to you guys but I need to be realistic and I need to say cat you know this is girl you're not getting paid so kind of slow it down <laughs> and you know just do what you can right now all right you guys I will talk to you later hit the like button if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later bye